what's happening do-it-yourselfers, Trumpeter Bobby Spellman here to welcome you to another fun and practical episode of... Trumpet with Bob! The plunger mute. It's one of the most fun and commonly used mutes in any jazz trumpeter's arsenal. Plunger mutes have been around just for about as long as jazz trumpet has been around, as jazz musicians have always tried to find different ways to color the sound of the instrument. Now, this is one of the most fun ways to do it, and it's a really uh, practical and inexpensive and great sounding approach. There are many different things that you can use to shape the sound of the trumpet, do different timbral effects, but the plunger has been the one that has really stood the test of time. Now, a quick perusal of the internet uh, will show you that there are many different companies selling professional quality musical plunger mutes. Uh, so let's take a quick look at some of those that they have on the market. All right, here we have a number of standard trumpet plunger mutes for sale online. And you can see that they're all going for right around $35. The cheapest one on the Woodwind Brasswind site is down here, this Mutech, which is going for about $23. Uh, there's also a very popular uh, plunger mute sold now by the Hirschman Company. This is the Hirschman Kenny Rampton Indigo Plunger Max. Now, a lot of people, I've heard a lot of good things about this plunger mute. Uh, and if you want to go the a little bit more expensive professional route, this might be the way to go. But you're looking at a whopping $50.01 for this one. Now, if you'd like to take the more price conscious approach to getting a plunger mute, and you want to follow in the footsteps of many great jazz trumpet players before you, you can do what I did and make your own plunger mute out of a plunger. No surprises there. Now there's a couple things you can do to augment this plunger to make it sound the way that you want and certain things you can look for. So I'm gonna go over a couple of those little tips for making your own plunger. And it's gonna start with a little field trip right now. All right, gang, we're taking a little road trip through Queens, New York, to my home away from home, Home Depot. charcoal over here. And we're back with a brand new sink and drain plunger from Home Depot. Uh, a couple recommendations here. Number one, you want to get a sink and drain plunger and not a toilet plunger. If it's got extra stuff coming off of here, it's not going to work. You want the simplest plunger that you can get. Now the size is up to you. This is kind of a nice size. I don't have a plunger exactly of this size. Most of mine are a little smaller than this. Some are a little bigger than this. You want something that's going to fit in your hand comfortably. Uh, the other thing I would recommend is buying a new plunger because using an old plunger that came out of your toilet is disgusting. So think about that. Don't do that. Buy a new plunger, please, for the love of God. All right, anyway, that being said, First thing is to take the stick off and throw it away. Get rid of that. You can find something to do with that. Uh, you can be creative, but who knows? We don't need it for now. Then I'm going to take the tag off. Now we have is just a handheld, regular old toilet plunger. Now, that being said, not toilet plunger, sink plunger. I'm sorry, I misspoke. Sink and drain plunger. This is going to fit in your hand easily. It's going to fit over the bell of the trumpet. It's going to do what you need it to do. You want it to have some give. You want it to be able to move around a little bit. That's the point of a plunger in many ways. Look at this. It's going to work great. Flexible. It's a nice color, nothing wrong, nothing wrong here. However, there's one thing left to do to this plunger in order to convert it into a practical trumpet plunger mute. This is a tip that I think many of us learned from Clark Terry, and if Clark Terry says to do it, we're gonna follow his advice. So, that is to cut a hole in the plunger, and that's gonna make this a little bit more playable. So let me show you how to do that. All right, so first thing you wanna do is have the plunger, get yourself a razor or something you can cut through the plunger with. Now you're gonna go right in through the top of this hole. So you can imagine where the stick's going in. We're just gonna hollow that out all the way through to the end of the plunger here, all right? That might take a little work, but it's just gonna take a little time to just pop through that, to try to create a little hole, and then slowly dig that out. All right, now be careful. You always wanna be careful when you're dealing with razors or sharp anythings, all right? You can't play trumpet if you cut your fingers off.
and we're through. Look at that. Made it through. We're just going to have to do a little bit more work. All right, now it's time to get a little hole in there. The goal is just to open that up to the point where it's about the same diameter as the place where the stick would otherwise go. Nothing to it, gang. Now, once again, be careful. <clears throat> Anytime you're dealing with a sharp knife and carving a hole in rubber, any number of things can go wrong. So be sure not to hurt yourself. All right, there we have it, gang. Easy peasy. Boom, you got a hole in your plunger. Now this is gonna work a lot better. You're gonna see how this uh, plays a little bit better, makes your life a little bit easier, and there's some other things that we can do to this to make it a little bit more fun. So let's give it a shot and see how it sounds. All right, here we go. All right, pretty good, sounding good. That's all you need. You just Get yourself a plunger that's easily handheld, a rubber plunger, and pop yourself a hole in it, and you got yourself your own homemade plunger mute. This cost me $3.95. All right, so that's a substantial uh, difference between some of the prices of the other mutes. It's about one-tenth the price. So you can do that, still sounds great, no problem. The benefit of cutting the hole in it is a couple things. Uh, it reduces the pressure when the Mute is closed completely and it will improve intonation a little bit, although you'll obviously notice that as you're playing with a plunger mute, your intonation is gonna change depending on where the mute is. So you can obviously hear this uh, getting flatter as we go. So that's a consideration, but that's also kind of part of the sound, so don't worry too much about that. Now, the other benefit to having the hole in it is sometimes you can do some zany experiments. So I was thinking about this as I'm shooting this video and I, Pulled out this old kazoo and I've decided to make, turn this thing into a, uh, I guess what would we call it, a, uh, a plungamazoo, a kazoomger. I don't know, let me know in the comments what you think we should call this. But anyway, this has got a little extra buzz to it. You know, you can play around with different things. This plunger situation came from people taking, uh, you know, things around their day-to-day -day lives and turning them into mutes so that they could shape the sound of the instrument. And uh, I'm always in favor of a little innovation and some creativity in creating your own mutes and your own plunger mute sound. So let's check this out. So this is a little kazoomber, kazoo plungamazoo, whatever you want to call it. The possibilities are endless, gang. So if you want to check out uh, your own, get your own plunger mute, make uh, your own plunger mute out of a plunger. You've got all the skills you need to do it. It's a very simple process and uh, you can, whatever you want to do, you can paint this however you like, you can make it your own. All right, so there you go. Very simple, uh, little approach to making your own plunger mute, but it might save you $30, something like that, or maybe even 40. All right, gang, I hope that was helpful in your quest for uh, plunger mutitude. Uh, if you like the video, give it a like or subscribe to the channel. It's a big help to us and we'll be putting out some new videos um, more related to music going forward. But every once in a while, I'll give you a little tip and trick about some of this hardware that you can work with. All right, gang. Hope you had fun with that and we'll catch you on the next one. Happy practicing. See ya. All right, friends, thanks so much for checking out this video. I hope it helps in your pursuit of the majesty of musical self-expression. If you like what we're doing here, please like this video and subscribe to the channel. Big thanks to all the new subscribers. We really appreciate your support, and we're going to keep putting out some new videos for you. The Ridgewood School of Music is now accepting new students for lessons online as well as in person in the Brooklyn, Queens, and greater New York City area. You can find us on our website at www.ridgewoodschoolofmusic.com and you can send us a message and we would love to help you achieve all of your musical dreams. For some more musical fun, you can also follow me, Bobby Spellman, on Instagram at Bob Spellman or in any of the other social media platforms listed in the description below. Thanks again for checking out this video. Happy practicing, and we'll catch you next time.